Starting off here on the front of the store, we have some of the seasonal Easter decor. They have these little truck ornaments. These would be perfect for the little Easter trees that they sell this year. They also had the gnomes. And then they have the gnome uh, fabric ornaments. You do get four in a pack here. And they had the bunnies. And then the Easter eggs. Now, I didn't see any other prints in these. So if you've seen any other prints, comment down below and let me know. And then they had the little chicks. They had tons of different flavors of peeps this year. Um, everything from cake to, I believe there was hot tamales. They had the different colors of the chicks or the little peeps bunny. Here you have the wild berry peeps. So if you're going to fill some Easter baskets, hit up Dollar Tree before you start on that and save some money while you're doing it. In the floral department, they had these new picks here. They had the gray, the pink, and the uh, bluish color. They had these new greenery. These are pretty full too. It's a pretty big, uh, pretty big stem there. These do sell pretty fast, so if you find them, you might want to snag them up. They had these for your garden. The little cement um, markers, if you will. They had these new hanging solar lights. I love the Dollar Tree solar lights. They're always well worth the $1.25. Um, some of them are really bright. And I've seen some people do some pretty creative things with them, make um, jar lanterns. I've seen um, people make outdoor lamps. Here they had the um, little carrots. This is from the farmer's market, the new line that's coming to Dollar Tree. Not all stores, uh, they're farmer's square, I'm sorry. Not all stores have these out yet, so if yours doesn't have it out yet, keep checking back. They have the lemons and limes. Um, and all the different little fruit picks. They had some new garden signs here. And then they had this new lace ribbon. This is the wider lace ribbon. We've seen the thin lace ribbon in the past, but now they actually have it in the wide ribbon. I believe it's one and a half inches long. Here's some of the uh, lemon picks from the Farmer's Square. These are on the branches. They're pretty tall. Then they also have the little clip-on lemon picks. They had some new stamp blocks and clear stamps in the crafter square. I did not see an ink pad. So at this point, I don't know if they have an ink pad. My store hasn't gotten them in yet or if they sold out or if they don't even have it for the line yet. But they do have several different um, alphabet fonts as well as um, like just a note, thinking of you, little stamps like that. So I thought that was really neat. And the first time I had seen these, so keep an eye in your crafter square section they are definitely adding new items every week still looking at the stamps here there was quite a few these would be great if you um, make a scrapbook um, or cards if you're a card maker and they also had put out some new fabric. This is more of like a, a jungle theme. They had the plants, the zebra, um, the cheetah. So lots of different fabric in it. These are 18 inches by 21 inches, each fabric square there. I have a ton of these and I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. I have several different prints, um, but I've used them before to make little um, outfits for the white bunnies that Dollar Tree sells. I've used them for backgrounds and photo frames. I know people have made um, quilts or throw pillows with them. 
So a lot of new prints hitting the stores, so make sure to check your store out and see if see what you can find. That's very Hawaiian to me. And then of course the watermelons. And they also have the new burlap. Um, I love the colors on these. I think these would be great for Easter. They have the stripes or the polka dots. They have the plain. And then they also have one with the flowers on it. And again, these are 18 by 21. And I also found these new iron-on stickers for transfers. Um, I found the pink and the orange at my store. I believe there's also a blue. And they also had straight pins. That was something I hadn't seen yet. And then this new um, craft string. There's four different colors. And you do get five colors in each pack. And they had new thread kits and the water marking pencils. They have the um, soft measuring tape, which I think is really neat. Um, if you're a crafter, those are great for measuring your shirts or the fabric. They had these little embroidery kits. Most of these were beginner for the skill, lev skill level, but I think I did find one that was intermediate. And it comes with everything you need to make that. Now, it shows you the preview on the front of what it should look like when it's completed. They have the flower, the felt kit, the butterfly felt kit. And this is in its own little display. It's a long box that's sitting on the shelf at one store and on an end cap at another store. So. Make sure you check those end caps to see if they might be there at your store if you're looking for them. These would be um, a nice little addition to an Easter basket and a nice little activity for a rainy day, which we've had tons of here lately. It's rained so, so bad in Ohio. Here we have these um, water paint pens. And then they had the, this I believe is a new print for these, um, tiles stick on tiles we've had the blue one but that like goldish silvery color i believe that's a new print i hadn't seen that one before and i wanted to go ahead and show you what ones we do have available at my store these do stick on pretty good um i know some people have added additional adhesive they do have adhesive on the back that's sticky but i know people have added additional adhesive i'm not sure um, how well they'd stick without additional adhesive, but definitely it, um, for the price, well worth it. Over in the hardware section, they had a ton of new gloves. They had this set here for women, and they do have several different sizes, so you can check at the top there. It says medium. They have large and extra large. Um, small seems to be one that's a little bit hard to find that size. Um, but they do have plenty of different, they have like cut resistant, um, just regular durable gloves. They have the touch screen gloves. So definitely check out your Dollar Tree. These would be great to, um, add to your toolbox or to give to your, um, the men in your life to make them a little gift set with those and some, uh, air fresheners for their car, some little tools. I've done that in the past for Easter baskets for the older teens that are starting to drive. I've made little um, gifts with like a tire gauge, a pair of gloves, a flashlight, things that they could keep in their car. So that's another gift idea. Here's the nitrile coated gloves. So they have really expanded their gloves selection. So keep an eye on that at your store if that's something you would be interested in. And while I have your attention here, make sure and like and subscribe here to the channel so that we can grow. I found this five pack of duck brand duct tape or electrical tape. I'm sorry. There's five different colors there. Um, this is the first time I've seen this. I've seen this brand before at Dollar Tree. I know it's also sold at like Walmart, Ace Hardware, places like that. 
and then over in the health and beauty they have the facial scrubbers back and these are great to add to an easter basket they had them in the purple the teal color and also the pink and they had this new uh, body wash here it's pink lemonade this is a really good size bottle too and then they have the Calming Lavender Vulva Cream. The Bath Bombs. You do get two in a pack there. And then also the Menstrual Heat Patch. This is in its own little display on the shelf. Um, the Menstrual Heat Patch is kind of like the um, Muscle Relaxer Heat Patches that adds heat to, the sp you know, to a certain spot if you've put a muscle on your back or something like that. It works the same. And then they have a new line of Be Pure um, Feminine products. They have the liners and pads. Um, you can turn it over there to see which one you're getting. Or down in the right hand corner, it'll show you how many you're getting and the size. So that one is the 8 count of the Super. And it is they are made with or organic cotton. And they had some new... Um, Cosmetic swabs or Q-tips that were infused with lavender, um, green tea, rose oil. So that was something I hadn't seen before. It comes in its own little carrying case and you do get 50 in a pack. They had the liquid skin back in stock. This is something that I hadn't seen for a while. My store used to carry it all the time. And then um, I don't know if everyone was getting hurt at the same time or if there was a shortage on it. But my store didn't have any for a while and I did notice they were there getting it back in stock. Always make sure to check Dollar Tree for your band-aids, um, bandages to restock your first aid kit. They are the best priced and most of the time, I mean, you can find fabric ones, you can find the stretchy um, waterproof ones. They have the new skin tone line. Um, they come with, you know, regular size or they have a variety pack where you get different sizes. So definitely check them out to restock your first aid kit um, for dollar twenty-five. You can't beat it. I've seen some with as many as one hundred and ten bandages in it. Uh, they had these new sassy and chic soap caps for your nails. Not exactly sure how they work. So if you have used these, comment down below and let me know how they work. I'm assuming it's for removing like gel polish or acrylic nails or something like that. Here they have some CoverGirl foundation. Um, they had it in one or two different shades. There wasn't a large variety, but for $1.25, if that's your shade, snatch that up. They had some new glitter eyeshadow in two different colors. Again, things like this, I love to add to a little Easter basket, especially if you have tweens or teens. Um, the older they get, the less candy my, they seem to want. My kids don't eat a whole lot of candy now. Um, they're 17 and 18 they would rather have like a gift card to a gas station or restaurant or um, snacks like beef jerky or nail polish beauty stuff earbuds like those are all ideas for easter baskets for the older kids because they just don't they're not into candy all that much anymore i don't know if they've grown out of it they don't have my sweet tooth that's the only way to put it i have a sweet tooth they don't have it Lots of new nail polishes this week. Um, everything from Sally Hansen to Maybelline. So keep an eye out on that. Some of these are hung on um, peg, the peg strip, the pegboards, and some of them are in the little like candy jars on the shelf. So you might have to dig through to find the several different colors or they might be hanging. Just keep an eye out for these. They have a really pretty foil background. Love that color there. And the Sally Hansen, I know it can go anywhere from, I think, $2.98 at Walmart up to $5.98, depending on which line it's from. That's a gray color. I'm trying to show you the name of the colors there at the top, too. I like that blue.
Okay, and then they also had two of the OP colors. You get two in a pack. These are the smaller bottles. I think they were 0.3 ounces maybe. But you do get two different colors in each pack. And these were also hanging. And then they also had Revlon. And there's several different shades. So if you're going to be doing your nails soon, make sure you check Dollar Tree because I can't stand to spend full price for nail polish. Here we have the Vibrating Facial Massagers back in stock. These were a huge deal a couple years ago. They got them in and they were selling out left and right. They couldn't keep them in stock. And this year they have two. They have the... Um, stainless steel one and then the other one I think is charcoal I can't remember they are battery operated and they also have these eyelash cases these are for your foot eyelashes um, I've seen people add names to these using their Cricut or you could leave them as is they're perfect size to throw down in your purse they have the new charcoal cleanser from Kissable. And then they had some new new loofah sponges. These again would be a nice little addition to an Easter basket. These have the little plush characters at the top. Like the little foxy. So I thought these were really cute. My store only had three left. So they have been selling them like hotcakes. So if you see them and you want one, go ahead and grab it while you can. Here's some more of the uh, Farmer's Square that was on an end cap. Some of these are the clips that clip on and some of them are just the picks. Here you have the fruit one. Here is the blueberry pick. And then over in the stationery, I found some erasable markers. This is the first time I'd seen these. You get three in a pack. And they have two different packs with different colors. One is more of a pastel color and one is more of the primary colors. And then they also do have the two pack of erasable highlighters. I used to use these in college and I loved them highly recommend them here they had an eight pack of gel pens and then also a six pack so they're both drop brand keep an eye out for that go ahead and pick up the eight pack it's a better value you get the same colors but it adds in black and blue then they had the cello jetta ink this is the gel ink there's two in a pack and over in the book section they had the new jeeper series or i'm sorry creeper series there is five books in the series, and they did have the entire series. So I thought this was a, a good value, and you can always throw these in an Easter basket. They remind me of, um, like, Fear Street. If, uh, I'm aging myself, but they remind me of Fear Street from R.L. Stein uh, growing up. And they did have all five of them. And of course, they got some other new books here. The Nest. Um, some of these are some very well-known authors. Some of these books are very valued at um, anywhere from $9. I've seen some all the way up to $24 or $26. Um, they had some that were up to... I think the most expensive one I've seen was the retail value of like $49. So if you are a reader, make sure you check out Dollar Tree for their book selection. Um, they're even better than, like, their their prices are better than Goodwill. I, think, I believe Goodwill raised their prices on books. They're now two ninety nine per book or 5 for 10 So for $1.25, it's a really good value. Here they have some new um, night lights. They had several different characters, Sesame Street, the Berenstein Bears. I believe there's some, um, like, we still have Mickey Mouse and Paw Patrol. And 
And they have several different prints in the characters there. And then you have Minnie Mouse. The princesses. Now these, um, these are not super bright, but they're bright enough where you can leave it on and your kids aren't scared of the dark. Or put it in the hallway and you can see to get to the bathroom at night. They had the new LED projector lights. Um, they had Batman or uh, Wildcrats, Sesame Street. Several different characters. These are battery operated. They take two AAA batteries. And you can project that scene there, right there that you preview onto the wall or ceiling. They had a new As Seen on TV product. It's the silicone rings. You do get, um, I believe it's five rings in each pack, and they are sized. So they'll have like medium, large, extra large. They have it in men's and women's. Over in the apparel so section, they have the heel survival kit and the gel heel cups. These are great for those who have kids that are going to prom, going to be wearing heels. They had some new little storage bins. You do get three per pack so make sure that you're getting three and then this one you also get three of the little baskets they have these new hooks here um, the top is one hook the bottom is a four like four piece rotating hook they had a new handbag storage for those of you who want to keep the dust off of your handbags as you're storing them, um, you can hang this in a closet or on a door. They have these new seven pocket organizers. It's a heavier weight. These would be great for organizing your um, dresser drawers. Over in the grocery section, they have these new 3D energy drinks. They had a few different flavors here. I've never tried these. I try to stay away from the energy drinks, but I know a lot of people do drink them. And they have the Monster Hydro. And then another Monster Reserve. They also had these new Campbell's Flavor Up sauces. It's caramelized onion. They also had the mushroom, the savory mushroom, as well as the garlic and herb. Um, these do not expire until 2024. You can add them to soups, um, pasta, meat. Here we have some of the Kellogg's Crunch Mania Cinnamon Bun. You do get four in a pack. And then they have the new milk straws. These are, they have strawberry or chocolate. You get four straws per pack. Um, these do not expire until, I believe, 2024. I always check my expiration dates, whether I'm at Dollar Tree or Walmart or anywhere else. I've gotten expired food from just about every grocery store over the years. So I've learned to just check my expiration dates. On all groceries. I used to buy these for my kids when they were younger. So I was excited to find them back in stock. And I absolutely fell in love with these lemon containers. I think these are awesome. They're a really good size. They're not too big, not too small. Um, great to hold your leftovers in, pack for lunch, um, whatever you want to do. But I thought they were really, really nice size. And I love the lemons on the outside. Here we have some new core labels. They had two different styles. They have the chalkboard style or the label here that's actually labeled. The chalkboard style comes with its own marker so that you can label them yourself. These are just peel and stick. You just stick on your jar or box or container, whatever you're using. These are not a Dollar Tree brand. They're again, core, core I think it's core living brand. These are pretty expensive on their own. They're the ones that used, well, that made the disposable, or the, I'm sorry, the reusable 
like storage bags, the like the Ziploc bags that we were finding, a lot of us were finding last month and the month before. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Mine were hanging in my store, but I heard from other people that theirs were in a basket on a shelf. So keep an eye out for those if you're looking for them. They had this new essential storage basket that clips onto your refrigerator, but those do not fit the wide shelves on the refrigerator you need like a wire shelf instead of the wide I made the mistake of buying them because I thought they would fit on mine but they do not but that's okay because I'll use them in the bathroom they had some new um, stove covers and then they also had some new prints in the reusable storage bags these are the surefresh brand not the core um, but they work the same so if you see these they're hanging on a strip here they have the shiny steel scouring pad, the non-scratch pad for your stainless steel appliances. Um, these were a big deal last year. We couldn't find them for a long time. In fact, this is the first time I've seen them back in stock, uh, probably since COVID. And then my store has a plus section. We just got it. So I wanted to take a minute here. They haven't got everything set up yet, but I wanted to show you a couple of the items that they have out. They had these little buckets. There's the galvanized metal or the white. These are $5. They're a pretty good size bucket. Everything in the plus section is either three or five. Nothing is more than $5. They had this um, battery operated tumbler spinner. They had a top and bottom thermal base layer. Now these do say they are slightly imperfect. I don't know exactly what that means. It might be uh, I saw a hole in them or whatnot, but I have no idea. I didn't buy any of them. I just want to get throw that out there. They do have the pants and the shirt and the pack. They have several different colors and sizes, and they are only $5. So that's all that my store had set up for the plus section. I will try and go back later this week to see if they have the rest of it set up. Um, anytime in my videos that I show you anything that's from the plus section, I'll make sure to tell you that so that you know um, whether or not your store would have it, because if your store is not a plus store, Obviously, it won't have the plus items, so I'll try to let everyone know whenever I am in that store because it's only one store in my area that that is a plus store right now. Okay, that is all for this week. I thank you for joining in, and I'll see you next week.